You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, hey, plumbing pros, welcome to the 336th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, hey, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's great to have you here. Hey, we got a great program for you here. The title of our program tonight is mm -hmm. Stop Losing Sleep Over One Star Reviews. Mm -hmm. Do you lose sleep over one star reviews? I don't. Anymore. <laughs> and you don't either, all right? Hey, we have Miss um, Katie Hill, review expert with Podium, a uh, review management app mm -hmm. that's um, going to be with us here shortly. She here. Will be, and yep. she's going to be talking some reviews. Mm -hmm. And we're going to introduce you to uh, Podium, a, a great, uh, great system that you can put in play to make it easy for you to manage your reviews. Mm -hmm. but, but first, let's say yes. hello to everybody. Yes. Hey, Bo is live. That's right, Bo reminds me. Hey, if you're, if you're watching live, type live in the comments. Let us know you're part of the live social audience with us, which we hope you are, okay? Why Come hang out with us. Be? Hey, if you're watching the replay, oh stop gosh. it. Join us live. No. <laughs> oh, no if you're stop watching, yet. <laughs> right. Make sure you're here. If you're, if you're watching the replay, <laughs> type replay. And if you're listening to the podcast, mm -hmm. you know what to do. Just keep on listening. Listen. Hey, all Caleb, right. It's great to have everybody, everybody here. In. All, the, all, the, all the ones that know how all to right. do this, right? All hey, right. Gary. Hey, um, Miss Carrie, how are you guys doing? Everybody checking in. All right. Jersey boys are in the house. I see. Jersey the boys Castiles. are in the house. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Call <gasps> the plumber is live with us as well. Mm. All right. Okay. All right, Carmen. I'm looking at my list. I like to see some uh, Carmen's. Good to see you here, hey, Carmen. Carmen. Um, also, um, we've got a whole new miking system, right? And actually, last we we tested it out last week yeah. for Potty Talk Live, and Facebook decided to crash yeah. through pretty much the entire show. So. So that was, we're going we, we we to redo that, that one. We're going to redo that, that, um, that topic. Yeah, I don't know when, but we are going to redo okay, it. Yes. Good. So okay. hopefully we won't be crashing this time. But right. let us know how the new miking system okay. sounds. We're interested we're going, to, to we're see. Going <laughs> we are, right, we're, we're going high tech. All right, we're going high tech. We got mics <laughs> everywhere from the ceiling. We got mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff hanging from the ceiling. Um, let's right. see. Uh, Sarah, hey Sarah, she said for three years, three years left and regret it. We want back fast. What does that mean? I don't. Are you replying to somebody else? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, Maybe. But Sarah, we're glad you're here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> KO Plumbing and Heating. KO Heating's. Plumbing. All right. That's, that's a, a new fun, one. Yeah, that's a fun name. We're yeah. out of KO. Yeah. We're, and is okay. that your initials? All right. I'm wondering. Yep. It's very GB's possible. in the house. All, All right. Good world. to have you here, GB. Good to see you guys. All right. Yes. Hey, this is a great taste. Mm -hmm. Stick around here. Stick this around review right. thing, uh, whether you <laughs> like it or not, it's not going away. You know, some we can get frustrated about it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, do, I, do I need to do? Do I need to work with the reviews? Mm -hmm. What does what you know? What's it mean to my business? All that kind of stuff. Right. Well, we got an expert here that's going to go over that with us here. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a good conversation. Front Nuggets of gold. Hey, Corey. Gold for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Corey. Welcome, Corey's brother. In Success Academy. All right. Obviously, a very smart plumbing business owner. All mm -hmm. right. That's right. <laughs> Looking to grow his plumbing business, his mm -hmm. plumbing empire. Yes. Okay. So we are now in December. It is now officially December. It is December. Has anyone? Okay, I know we asked this a while back if anybody had their Christmas tree up, and like almost everybody already had theirs up, which just to me is amazing. But has anyone done with their Christmas shopping? No. Yeah. I want to know. I think we're going to do Christmas like the cranks. <gasps> skip it. We're skipping are Christmas. Are we going on a Sorry. cruise? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Everybody does know Christmas with the cranks, right? Surely. Yes, Tim Allen. We don't. We don't have anything Christmassy up here. We We've got to get on the ball. <laughs> we have no tree. Right. right. Ooh. Nothing. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. So, does everybody get their their um their Christmas shopping done? I'd be yeah. interested. Is that our question, or do we even have a no, question? No, we have a tonight? question. Oh, we have okay, a real question, question for you. Tonight. How many Google reviews mm. do you have? Ooh. I thought it was in, yeah. That's a good one. Okay, how many Google reviews do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Many, yeah, for GMB, LSAs, whatever. How many, how many total do you have? Right. Let us know. Okay. Give us the number. And it's important. I mean, everybody here, I'm sure, when you're looking for something local, you look at reviews. I mean, and you do that on Amazon. It uh, has, it has, yeah, it's, it's. On Yelp. 
right? It's part, it's part of business. One of our customers, you know, they, they do. You know, it's mm -hmm. part of the process now. Right. Um, you remember back in the day? Back I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back go. in the day. Way like, back in the day. Way back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, when we had to walk to work, mm -hmm. uphill five miles in the yes. snow, and, and then back home. horse and buggy. Right. Mm -hmm. And I used to do uh, plumbing jobs on my bike, yes. you know, that kind of a thing. But you remember we used to do, we, had, we did the uh, comment cards. <laughs> we did comment cards. You know, the, the mm -hmm. comment cards. And we'd send those I out. I fully remember All them. Right. Yeah. Most, of them, <laughs> right, right. most of them, because the plumbers were supposed to hand them out to the customers, most of them were on the floor oh, of the plumbing know. trucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, had stamps and everything on them. Right. Animals. All that, we'd have those. <laughs> but we'd have a stack of them. Mm -hmm. But then we'd get one kind of... Five, 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 Ooh, five reviews. All right, five. Okay. Okay, wait. Five star. Oh, is that what the question? Is it five star or how many total do right. you have? Right. Not necessarily your average. Yeah. Right. And the, those are five. But that's, that's great. good. Okay. Powerful. One hundred seventy-five. Sweet. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you remember we you know we'd have a stack of you know good cards. We yes. could get the one. Yes. Negative, and it would just like blow you out of the water. Right. So we got all these comment cards back that um, the answer that our service was awesome, our plumbers right. were awesome, everything was awesome. And we get one that said we sucked. We, we suck, and we're like, oh, what did we do wrong? With the one. Yeah. What did we uh, do? So we're focusing on the one on bad the one review. On the one card, right? Which and it's not like they could tell anybody crazy. that it went out anywhere. Right. Now, <laughs> that was the kind of thing that really got, got me going. With, you know, we were still around when reviews came out. We're not <laughs> that old. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And, and so I remember you get, you get that one bad review mm -hmm. or negative review, whatever right. it is, you know, and it, everyone feels like it goes out to the whole wide oh, world. Oh, everyone hates us. Right. Everyone hates that, us. That kind now. of a thing. Yes. So mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to ask. Uh, 83. Good for you, Carmen. You know, ask Miss uh, Hill mm -hmm. about, uh, about that. How, how we deal with negative reviews. Negative so reviews. That's, that's, and, that's, one and of my, that's my reviews. question, personally. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, so everybody's checking in and giving how right. many reviews? Four, 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 four reviews? reviews. All five okay. stars. Okay. okay. Corey, you need more. Right. Okay. We got to get you more. We got, and we so, have an easy way. We're going to introduce you to something that makes mm -hmm. it very easy Corey. for you to get the reviews. More importantly, it makes it easy for your customer yes. to give you a, mm -hmm. to give you reviews. That, that's what it's all about. Because you know, you go through. Um, you know, it just happened the other day. What? Went through Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I admit I went through I had a low, a weak moment. Everyone I went, I went through Taco Bell. Moment, okay, and then and then they're asking, and, and the guy was really really nice. And for mm -hmm. I mean, even on the you know, it the wasn't speaker? just like you know, what do you want, blah blah blah. But it was real friendly mm -hmm. and bubbly, and it was inter, you know energy there. And hey, thank you. They even mm -hmm. said thank you when they handed me the bag. And she that kind it. of thing, right? And wow. right, you can see it in their face. Nice. And would you do would you do us a favor and please give us a review? Oh, she did. At the end, of because at the bottom ah. of your, and and I and I drove away thinking, sure, I, mean, I really meant it because they did really well, mm -hmm. but I never did you because didn't. the process, oh. mm -hmm. you know, it, this reality yeah. with this, we're asking our customers to give reviews, mm -hmm. and yeah. you know, we get on down the road and back into our lives. You're, yeah, you're all full of your bean burrito. Right, I'm all right. I'm all <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> <Right. onion. laughs> I guess so, are cream. All right. So I can't yes. wait to so find out a little bit more about podium because yes. that makes it. I Makes think it, it helps helps curb that, uh, you know, guys like me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of, well, let's bring on. Let's bring on our guest here. Let's do it. All right, Miss Katie Hill, mm -hmm. review expert with Podium. Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> How you doing, Katie? <laughs> I'm good. You guys are speaking my language, talking about Taco Bell and reviews. Like, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh no! And the cruise. Right. Like, there's if there's room for three on this cruise that we're sure. planning. Sure. Here we go. Let's do this. We got the. Oh, uh, I think before uh, we were in the green room, you were mentioning you're coming to you're coming to Tampa. You've never been to Florida, but you're coming you're coming yeah. to Tampa here in mm -hmm. a couple of weeks. We were just in Tampa for we had a planning meeting, mm -hmm. but we stayed right down where the cruise ships take off from Tampa, mm -hmm. and so we were watching the cruise uh, ships leave. And it's yeah. like, oh, we should. Uh, it'd be fun. You know, hmm, yeah. you know, here's Horn, going, Bye. So, yeah. Yeah, for the record, I'm in. I'm so. okay. okay. Sweet. All right. We'll All right. mark you down. We can, we, sure. can, we can talk some podium and reviews on, on the cruise ship. Well, good. Well, thank you for being here, Katie. Appreciate yes. it. Appreciate yeah. It. Thank right. you for having me. Well, so, let's, well let's talk some reviews, okay? Let's, one, let's one, do the, it. one of the questions I have why, why are reviews even important? Why, why should that matter mm. to me in, in my plumbing business? Yeah, and I, I love that you asked the question, first off, like how many reviews do you have? Because it's such a pivotal way in how um, Google ranks businesses these days. Mm -hmm. And we live in this world, we, we live in this Amazon culture now, right? Where we're primed to look at reviews, whether we're going to a restaurant or yeah, or we're going to a store, we always wanna look at 
you know, where should I be going? And your, your customers end up becoming your best marketers in that sense, because so many of your, you know, your potential customers are looking at what other people have to say about you and mm-hmm. that's how they're making their buying decisions. Right. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that yeah. a reality? Like we did that this weekend. Like I said, we were in Tampa mm-hmm. in, a, in a new area mm-hmm. and that we wanted to planning, but at night we wanted to go out and we're kind of foodies. So what, what did we do? Yeah. We got on this thing here mm-hmm. and we Googled restaurants near me and looked at reviews and looked at reviews first, mm-hmm. you know, and yep. we're, we're old dogs and we still, well, <laughs> you're, you're guy. I don't listen to you. <laughs> nice try, <laughs> <isn't> he? <laughs> so we, we do. It's just part. It's just part of the process mm-hmm. now, isn't it? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing is, like, a lot of people when they go to search for a company, they'll go to their browser and hit a Google, or they'll just go right from their Google Maps and type in like a you know plumber near me type search, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm again, I'm I'm so glad that you asked about that question about the quantity of reviews because. That's just a big way on how Google ranks you is that recency and frequency of reviews. Mm-hmm. So it's great if you have a five star, but if you only have, you know, a handful of reviews, then, you know, you're not going to get as high up on that list. Right. And so if you want to be seen, if you want to be chosen, you have to focus on that as, as a business owner. So does Google rank it more? Not necessarily that you have a five, a, you know, 10, 15, five star reviews, but that you may have 30, 40, 50, that might be 4.5. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the thing is I I don't know their exact algorithm, and if I did, I would be a very rich woman, that's right? True, you would. <laughs> <laughs> but they so we're actually Podium is invested in by Google. That's how we got we got started off of a Google grant, and so they do sit on our board. And I know that recency oh, and wow. frequency actually means more than your star rating in how yeah. you rank on that list. Okay, so there you go. go. And Bob's got a great question. Bob of Jersey Boys Plumbing um, can only Gmail accounts leave Google reviews? So the answer to that is yes. Um, Podium makes it really easy in the sense that we can pull off their their Google credentials on their phone and send them an invite. And we'll kind of get into that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But yes, they have to be a verified Google user to leave a Google review. Got it. Okay. 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 All right. Um, No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, with, so I, well, you answered the question about, because that's what I was curious about too. Like we have some that, you know, have five star Mm-hmm. And we can be proud of that, right? Mm-hmm. I have a five-star re- review, but if I only have a yeah. handful of reviews, mm-hmm. then that's not as you not know, as attractive. Not as attractive yeah, as having yes. a lot of reviews, right? Right. Because Google right. does weigh an awful lot into you know, it takes a lot of things into consideration as far as your ranking, but reviews are definitely up there, right? Right. And the number okay. of re- reviews, right? And on that, that, yeah. leads, that leads me to like we're we're, we're perfectionists. I, I want that five-star. I want that five-star review. <laughs> But is it really, is the five star review that important? Or, you know, what if I wind up being, you know, 4.7, 4.8? Mm-hmm. What, what, what's your experience with that? Yeah, so we've done a ton of studies around this because, I mean, a lot of people want to make sure that, like, if they're going to send out a request for a customer to leave a review, they're going to get that perfect five star, right? right. And right. it's interesting because people tend to either leave a five star or a one star. Oh, you know, yeah. there's not a lot of in between, Really? but That's funny. I, yeah, mm. yeah, it's, it's interesting. But I think that the sweet spot that we found is about a 4.8 rating is like your sweet spot. Right. Mm. And it, as a potential customer, like if I'm looking up your business, I'm probably going to filter by the negative reviews because I want to see how you dealt with them as a business owner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if, if you're responding back to those reviews, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Making sure like if, if there was some sort of discrepancy or addressing that and taking care of that, right? That shows that you care enough about your customers to take care of them again, even after the fact, even after the job is done, mm-hmm. right? Right. Mm-hmm. So, so that, well, that, well, that leads into a question I have mm-hmm. or concern as, as the plumbing business owner. You know, I get that, that bad or negative, that very negative review. Mm-hmm. Should I respond to that? You know what? Part of me wants to just let, kind of let it go. <laughs> you know, Either that you know, maybe, maybe or blast them. Or oh yeah, that, that's the other well, extreme. You, you know, blah blah my, blah blah. Yeah, blah, my yeah. bad self comes out, <laughs> and I, you know, I want to, I want to smack them. What should should I respond? And if so, how should I respond? What? Yes. So first off, take a deep breath. That's always step one, right? Take right. that deep breath. Get, yeah, get all centered. Okay. Um, but yes, absolutely. So I would say the best practice is 
one, respond back to them quickly because your potential customers could potentially see that and they want to, again, they want to see that response, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say make sure that you are updating yourself, like you have eyes on that Google listing. And whether you use Podium or you don't, like Podium makes it easy because we can notify you if you get anything lower than, you can set your notification preferences. So if it's anything lower than a four star or a three star, you get the notification right on your cell phone and you can see that and reply to it. Mm. But time is of the essence when it comes to replying. So do it quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Address the issue that they had and then I would reach out to them personally as well, you know, offline. So you're showing your potential customers, yes, I'm gonna make sure that this is taken care of, but then also reach out to them. And, you know, they they could go in and change their review too after the fact. And then it's Mm. going to count as an updated review and it's only going to help your standings. Right. Right. But I would say, yeah, time is of the essence in a, in a situation like that, but then also just bury it with more five-star reviews. Right. Mm. Just get your happy customers to bury that. Okay. Right. Mm. Yes. Right. So that's the importance of constantly hitting up our our customers, Mm -hmm. you know, for, for the review. Yes. And, um, as far as what type of response do you give, um, to a negative review? What do you recommend? Yeah. I, I would always say address the customer's concern, you know, ver- and also verify that they were a customer too, because yeah. <laughs> anyone can really get on, right? And mm-hmm. and a lot of times, like maybe they don't even they don't even have the right business, or maybe you don't have like a record of of that customer, right? And so verify, hey, I, I do see that we worked with you, or maybe we didn't work with you, maybe you have the wrong business, you know what I mean? That <laughs> actually happens quite a bit. Mm. Um, it's interesting, but mm. I would say address whatever issue that they have, and then also encourage them to call in or I would, I would just reach out to the customer and give them a call too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I love that comment by Chris. Yeah. Yes. Chris has said, you know, we've gotten people to change from a four to a five by giving them a call and adding more value Mm -hmm. by just having that. And we found a very similar thing. Thank Mm -hmm. you, Chris. Um, uh, we, we found that, that very, a very similar thing that the customer just wants to be heard. And a lot of times you just feel there's surprise, especially in today's. That's what's great. I feel like we were talking about this weekend. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going yeah, all over, over the place, place here. Yeah, sorry, baby. But that's one of the things we were talking about about this weekend mm-hmm. uh, was about service seems to be gone. Yeah. You know, we, we come from the old days when people used to say thank you, mm-hmm. you know, for coming. When flight attendants. When flight were attendants, nice. right. I mean, it used mm-hmm. to be it used to be exciting to go to fly. <laughs> now it's going to the DMV. Right. I mean, it's just there's, there's no service. So there's a huge opportunity to stand out. Mm-hmm. And pe- and humans are still the same. We like to be heard and mm-hmm. feel like like someone came our way. Correct. You know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. So we found totally. even back, you know, that by just just what Chris said of calling and responding to them, even mm-hmm. calling the customer, you know, and asking them, you know, how can we've done better, that kind of a thing. Right. That they just they're so surprised that you even bothered mm-hmm. <laughs> that uh you, you know probably wouldn't now, now you're the greatest. Right. You know going back over. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And sure. then yeah. you have a customer for life at that point too. Mm-hmm. Right? right. And that's that means way more, right? Absolutely. Right. Yep. So, Sometime customer. Now, sure. on the flip side of the, mm-hmm. this, you know, Katie, mm-hmm. we, we've also discovered there are just customers out there <laughs> that are just not happy people. <laughs> You're being very nice. Okay, I'm being very. <laughs> in fact, I, I coined the, the, the phrase "consumer <laughs> terrorism." Mm-hmm. You know, I, I believe there's customers out there that just want to blow you up. Mm-hmm. And so, you, you and if you don't, if you don't give me my right. some money back, then I'm going to just leave you a terrible review. Yeah, mm-hmm. reviews are used as a yeah, yeah. something to mm-hmm. to leverage against you. Mm-hmm. And those are out there, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. It's just the reality of the world we live in. Mm-hmm. However, how we respond to those, even that customer that blows you up, mm-hmm. I, you know, other people are the, you know, other customers, potential customers are reading these reviews, right? So they see this person kind of, responses. you know, when we're mad, we always kind of sound a little crazy, you know. <laughs> we, all, you know we all have that is. If we're mad or angry or trying to... Sound like we, a little fired up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we kind of we kind of come across not so rational. Mm-hmm. So if we can come across with a, a rational response, mm-hmm. most people understand, oh, that person was maybe just upset or having a bad day or, you know, totally. whatever saying. They're just mm-hmm. kind of overblowing things mm-hmm. and, you know, we'll move on, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, do you have another question? I was going to ask a question. Wait, go for it. Well, I don't, I, I don't want to jump the shark here because... No, sweetheart. The floor is yours. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why I want to know about Podium. So exact, what does Podium exactly do? Tell us a little, little bit about Podium. Yeah, so Podium's a robust messaging tool. Um, and we actually got our start with reviews. And Richard, I, did, I know I've told you this story before, but we actually started because our CEO, he wanted to create 
an easy way for his father's tire shop to compete with these big brands that were moving into the town That's right. and oh. taking his market. Yeah. Really and because he looked, yeah, he just wasn't, he wasn't winning as much because he didn't have that online storefront looking the way that he wanted. You know, mm. he had a lot of happy customers who were just too lazy to go in and leave him a review. So, <laughs> so mm -hmm. we created a, an easy button essentially for businesses to go out and request reviews from customers. So okay. again, there's, there's a lot of, we have a kind of a suite of messaging tools where reviews is a piece of that, but we can send out a request to leave a review after a job is completed. And it's a very simple two click process. So we, the customer clicks on the link that you send them, they click, yes, they want to use Google and it'll automatically pull their credentials. They can leave a Google review really easily. So you can just start raking those in. I actually, I pulled up a stat because I knew I was doing this podcast mm -hmm. and out of our home services businesses that we work with, the average podium user has 540 reviews. Whoa. Right. That's a lot. Yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yeah, Here we go. That's, that's right. <laughs> and that's how a little guy competes with a big guy. Exactly. Right. I mean, that. That was mm -hmm. my fear, you know, you're coming up and you're, you're growing. It's like, I can't compete with that, that big company. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Podium makes it easier for you to get. And we're always very careful about saying easy here. Mm. You know, we're all about easier. simple, but easy. <laughs> but Podium really does make it easy mm. to get reviews. Great customer have to right. leave a review. Um, Lisa, um, let's see, and Lisa's out of Washington. Um, Oh, help me. Full speed plumbing. I um, yeah. found when a customer is upset, I let them know that my job is to advocate for them as the office manager. That goes a long way because they feel like they're being heard and someone is there to help them. And yeah. Lisa is like a five star office manager for sure for full speed. So, yep. absolutely right. Um, good word, Lisa. Yep. Um, how can we sign up? <laughs> Danny, you're so good. Right. Right. <laughs> it's so, so good. Um, you can actually go to, I can give you the link, but we'll yeah. give it to you later. And Shelby, if you put this in a ticker at the bottom, that'd be great. It's um, themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash podium. Podium. P O D I U M. Yes, yes and get a, a free demo. Hope I don't I know if they'd get correctly. Katie or, or who they would get, yeah. but someone can walk you through yeah. the whole program, right? Right. Yeah, P O D I U M. Podium. All right. Right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll be right back Ooh, with, yes. with Katie here. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. But I have something for you just for joining us. Okay. Whether you're live or you're at the replay mm -hmm. or you're listening to the podcast here. All right. Hey, it's my million dollar plumber blueprint. All right. Mm -hmm. All the specs that you need and must know to build a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. It's all laid out That's there for you. Say. All you got to do is follow that. the blueprint. Okay, and it's free. All right, I'm not hitting you up for anything. Okay, it's free, so you can't Except afford not you. to do it. All right, simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com <laughs> forward slash free. All right. Hey, I'm working here. What I you thought doing? I said you're, when I'm in charge of anything, I say except for a review. Except for a review. <laughs> We don't All right. get any reviews. Grab, you. grab your, flute, oh, that's your right. free so blueprint. So type free in the comments, please. There we go. Right All right, now. let's bring Miss Katie back. Mm -hmm. Katie Hill with Podium. Is it All just right. Podium or is there Podium? Like review experts, Podium review experts. It's just Podium and people get, like, I don't sell Podiums here. It's, <laughs> it's a common mistake. <laughs> Cody, po Podium off, offers some other very cool stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, their, their system's very cool. And, mm -hmm. and you know, if you, you, you go to Podium, you know, themillionedollarplumber.com forward slash Podium, mm -hmm. you, you can schedule your free demo your and learn all about that. But we're really focusing on the review side, which is what they, they do very, very well, you know, and, mm -hmm. and make it easy for you. Mm -hmm. Hey, on that, Katie, I want nice. to get your opinion on this because this goes, we, you mentioned about charging you for reviews, except for charging you for reviews. Oh, yes. Can I, well, what's the Ooh, thing, can, can I charge for reviews? Not charge, but you know how we can do, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some money off or you can be entered to, in a, you know, win a Enter gift win card. A gift card, yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, you guys are playing in the gray area. Uh -huh. okay. Technically, Google says not to do that. Yeah. That's um, what we thought. That's yes. what I thought. I just wanted to hear yeah, someone Yeah, we've had a number of our clients ask that. and. And like, at least uh, back in the day when we had our plumbing business, that was a huge no-no, right. huge no-no. Yeah. I'm assuming it still is. Yeah, still is. We do have, so we actually have um, a leaderboard where you can track your reviews inside Podium and you can also track your plumbers and see how many reviews each of them are getting. So a lot of people uh, incentivize their plumbers where it's, hey, once you get to 10 reviews, you get this spiff or a person with the most five-star reviews this month gets 
a steak dinner, you know, something mm-hmm. along those lines. And then it keeps them, it That's keeps better. them engaged. And yes. 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 Which, because you want your, your plumbers to be able to, you know, and, and on that, up. this is, you know, it, we, we say here, Katie, it, it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay. This whole thing, it, it ain't Thank about you, plumbing. As, as plumbers, we get caught up in all the cool plumbing and the plumbing has to be done right. And of course it has to be done right. That kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. But for a business to be successful, a plumbing business to be successful, it ain't about plumbing. The focus must be on the business side of things. Mm-hmm. And, and really there's, there's two major areas that we talk about a lot. Okay. That's that we're always recruiting because we're always looking for you know, good guys, mm-hmm. all right, yeah. to take, take care of who we call Mrs. Jones, our customer, which leads to attracting Mrs. Jones through our marketing. Mm-hmm. And this review thing, guys, is extremely important. It's an important part of the process of your marketing. Uh, we just shared personally how we did it all this weekend mm-hmm. when we were away. Every restaurant we went to, mm-hmm. which we checked their reviews. Mm-hmm. We're not even, not even thinking about it. It's just, it's just how consumers behave now. Mm-hmm. So your, consumer, totally. your reviews have to be there. Correct. Right. Yes. You know? I have a question. Do you integrate with um, something like Service Titan? Huh? Yes, huh? that's do a really you? good question. Right. Mm-hmm. We do. The answer Yay. is yes. I love okay. it. I honestly, Yay. I love it when um, when companies use Service Titan hand in hand with Podium. In fact, I think I was talking to. I have a good friend who he's the number fourteen Service Titan user in the world. Whoa. He uses Podium as well, and he's mm. like, I'm pretty sure all the top twenty actually use Podium alongside it because they they work so well together where we can do automatic like triggers for reviews and things like that. And we do integrate with a lot of the um, the bigger CRMs out there. But again, I love it when people use Service Titan because it's a it's a very robust tool and it works mm-hmm. really well with Podium. Great. Yeah, we yeah. just he yeah, had the lovely Lord just alluded to we are fans of Service Titan. In fact, yes. we use that with our, our plumbing business mm-hmm. and it's one of you know one of what, what we consider our power tools. Just like Podium mm-hmm. is, is one of our power tools. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. So yes. yeah, we're big fans of, of a service titan. So so what I'm hearing you say is by using Podium, it can trigger like as soon as we're done with the job, like we type close on the job, it can yeah, how, it how can send work? yeah what what happens there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So you can set up those custom triggers um, to where I mean, what we always encourage is having it right as the job is marked as completed. That automatically triggers out the text message to the customer to request that review, and it'll be able to tie back the technician on the job as well too, so they you can give them credit. Um, but yeah, and it, it, it just makes it simple, right? right? It takes that step out. It takes the, um, the pressure off of the plumber, right? Because he's busy, he's going from different jobs. And so the last thing you mm-hmm. want to do is add an extra step for the team. And so that's why I love the integration piece where they just mark the job as completed or paid. You can customize it, right? And then, um, it'll automatically send out that request. And it goes via text. Yes. Even so better. We can do email better. too, but mm-hmm. yeah. Text yeah, but yeah. So yeah. it would show up on my phone right right here. Mm-hmm. Like you, you heard me say, you know, in, in the intro, we were, you know, we were talking about you know, going to um, Taco Bell. <laughs> and even though I wanted to, I had a great experience. <laughs> even though she was so friendly. And just for her sake, I mm-hmm. wanted to give the review. <laughs> but by the time I got out of the the parking lot and <laughs> on with life. I, I was on, I was done. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't yeah. gonna, I wasn't gonna go to the website and do that. I just, right. it just not yeah. that I didn't want to, mm-hmm. it's just out of my mind, but I would get totally. podium would send me a link or is it, you know, what, what happens? So as a yeah, customer it's just, side, it's just going to be that automated text message. It'll come from your business phone number too. So oh. it's, it's not a random short code. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It comes mm-hmm. to, we typically just host like your, your main, landline phone number so it fires that off and then it's gonna have it, it's customizable too which i love because you can put your logo in there you know you can do a custom message where hey it was awesome working with you thank you so much click here to leave us a review mm-hmm. and and you're so right richard it's all about that timing too and and not i mean no one's gonna i mean very few people i will say unless they're pissed off right, right. are gonna <laughs> actually go google you go mm-hmm. log in have to mm-hmm. go through all those steps right, right. it's just mm-hmm. for the we just got to capitalize on those happy lazy customers right, right. <laughs> yes the ones that you well they got you down which and, we say mm-hmm. right one of the things we also say is no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber mm-hmm. no one no one's looking to really call or use us mm-hmm. so if we make this experience good and easy and you know we want the review and even if they feel compelled to give we need compelled to give a review got to make it easy as possible for them right. for our customer yeah. to, to give us a review mm-hmm. all right yeah and, on, and some of our no, oh, ahead. sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say some of our, our best customers, as far as getting the return on that, 
they'll set the expectation when they go into a customer's home, they say, Hey, just so you know, you're going to receive a review request at the end of this job. You know, if at any point throughout this job process, if I'm not delivering a five star experience, please let me know. Otherwise we'll ask you for a review at the end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And having that process alone right there, like just setting the expectation and then making it simple. It's a home run. Yes. And I agree with that from the CSR doing it and the initial phone call. Um, and then from the technician standpoint as well, letting them know um, as they're getting started on, on whatever work needs to be done. And whatever words you just said was perfect. I hope anybody watching this, rewind and then write down exactly what Katie said, because that's a perfect right. response. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that goes right right to, and I like it because up front, that, that tells the customer we're more concerned about serving you. Yes. As opposed to just fixing your plumbing. Again, right. it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is about your life. This right. is about your home. Your right. home. Getting you taken care of. Right. Mm-hmm. That's good. And I want to give you a five-star service. Mm-hmm. All yes, right. five-star service. <laughs> Write that down, guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nugget of gold. I'll, I'll record mm-hmm. it, and you can clip it. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank, thank you. you. We'll <laughs> hack it. Can we hack it? We can play it. Okay. <laughs> but we're totally <laughs> hacking it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Hey, Katie, great. Thank you for introducing us to the podium. Oh, there, let me ask you this. Is there anything else you wanted to say yeah. about podium before we we uh, end the show? Anything else that you want yeah. to mention? Yeah. I mean, I think, I mean, as far as the review side, it speaks for itself in that statistic that I, I mentioned earlier. Our average customer has 540 reviews. Again, yeah. like that's what Google cares about is that recency and frequency. You don't just get a bunch of reviews and then stop. You have to keep, mm. you know, keep up with it, make sure that you're, feeding that beast, right? That Google beast. <laughs> and so you're right. pulling up in that ranking and people are going to find you and choose you. And then we have a, a suite of other tools that you can use and we can, I'd love to, to speak with anyone out there to go over a demo. It won't be with me, but it'll be with someone on my team. I can pop in and say hello, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it's just, it's such a pivotal part of your business. And again, I, I think I told you this too, Richard, like we podium exists to make your life simple and then help you make a lot of money. Like that's our ultimate goal for our customers. And we say this, this cheesy saying it, we're, we get kind of star Wars. We're a tech company, so we're, we're a little nerdy. Okay. <laughs> but we good. always, we still, we still is from star Wars and we say arm the rebellion, right? We want to right. help that underdog. We want to make them, those <laughs> underdogs look like the big, the big dogs. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's right. I love it. Arm the that's rebellion. Arm the rebellion. <laughs> we'll go. Okay. Well, Bobby has a great question. Are you able to talk, talk it on and off in service in service tight in case the job goes south? Yeah. So, um, you can create <laughs> custom tags in service Titan, which is nice. Um, and then you can also, I mean, you can set up certain triggers for different types of jobs too. Like if you're working with warranty customers and we don't necessarily want to send them a review request or, you know, mm. something along those lines, but long answer short is yes, it's customizable. Perfect. So. There we go. That's way better than comment cards. All right. Yes. <laughs> so you see Podium makes it very easy, you know, for you to manage your reviews. Mm-hmm. Okay. And reviews are a big deal mm-hmm. and uh, Podium is a big deal. Mm-hmm. And uh, as you heard heard him say, they're they're for the little guy. Arm the rebellion. I like arm that. Arm the rebellion. Okay. Then he's Let's go. Shirt. Arm the arm the rebellion. <laughs> I'm gonna hack that one too. Write that one down, baby. All right, arm the rebellion. Yes, that's on a shirt for and sure. Katie's been a good guest. She has been really got a lot of good information. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, Katie, thank you so much. Great yes. information. You guys are awesome. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Thanks for having me. We think Podium's awesome. Thank you for being here. Yeah, appreciate it, Katie. All right. All right, we'll see All you right. next time. Everybody say bye to Katie. Katie Hill, Podium, um, the billion dollar plumber.com, right? Forward slash, slash podium. Podium, yeah. Okay. Get a free demo. Go check it out. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if she mentioned they've got a number of other um, things within their, their suite. Um, but you know, kind of get started with the reviews and, and see how how they work for you. I know we're kind of I was kind of playful here with this, but but this is um, this is important stuff. Yeah, it's totally important. Guys, the reviews yeah. are, are, are and, very you know. And, and I think everybody knows process. that it's, it's important. What's great is arm the rebellion. That's perfect. Right. Helping the smaller guy compete with the big guy. Right. So so you can be. Well, we've already had um, we've already had a, a couple of our clients using them that mm-hmm. now have you know as many reviews as the. the you the know, big guys. The big guys. Right. right exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what you want to do. In, right. in the mind of the, cu- the customer, they don't know whether they're talking to a, you know, two, three truck company or mm-hmm. a, you know, a, a 30 truck company. Right. Okay. If you're branded correctly. Right. Brand all that kind of stuff together and your charge. views, all the stuff works <laughs> together. Okay. You put, mm-hmm. you put these things together. These are simple things to put together. Mm-hmm. Podium's a simple thing to put in place. Yes. Okay. Don't think and wait. Well, I'm going to wait till I can do this or I can whatever. No. You know. Some of these things right. you definitely don't want to wait on because it's just going to um, help your business grow exponentially. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. I know Maybe. what else will help a business grow exponentially. Oh, great lead. 
All right? <laughs> Hit it, Shelby. All right, the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. Huh? That was, that okay. Was me doing a little all right. There. Actually, learn the business of plumbing. Mm -hmm. It's all in there, including this kind of a thing reviews, how to deal with you know Katie's negative in the customers. Success Academy. Yeah, Podium actually uh, teaches a class in the Success Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay? But it's laid out in 12 easy bite sized modules. Again, everything you need to know and must know to have a successful plumbing business. Mm -hmm and have a life too, Ooh, all right? Mm -hmm. And you can get a 14-day free trial, all right? To the Success Academy. To the Success Academy. Mm -hmm. Simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success and do it, if okay? Just do it. If you're not in the Success it. Academy yet, I don't understand. That's right. where all the cool kids are. Right. All the okay. cool kids are there. Where do you want to be this time next year, all right? The same spot or million-dollar plumber status. There we go. Okay. Hey, great having you on here again. Thanks to, to Katie. Mm -hmm. Hey, before I let you go, as always, you were created and you were born to be a champion. Thank you. So for live like in one. To Potty Bye. Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million-dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now and join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.